Today, Precarious plays Mega Man Battle Network 2. Darn, it's not working. It figures, with all this radiation. Come on, move! <laughs> you just kicked it. Yeah. That's not going to ping. Hey, look, it's working! Uh, Lan, that's great, but we got company. They might be from Gospel. Quick, let's hide! Wait, that voice! Uh, pardon? Hey, you shouldn't be leaving your best friends behind. Dex! Did they give you a Kigurumi, too? <laughs> and don't forget Hus now. <laughs> oh, everyone's here to get irradiated. I'm so sorry that wow, everyone got- Wow, you're all- What are you doing here? Got super cancer, probably. Hey, we're sitting at Fowler's, too. I did mail. You dummy, what about the radiation? Dummy? Chad would never say that to a lady. <laughs> what? What? Wait! <laughs> <laughs> what? You been hanging out with that a-hole? Are you playing my rival against me? What? That's not cool! Come on, I was just worried about you guys. You two, I see I'll have to be the voice of reason here. We're all wearing special Natopia-made magwear, see? My father knows the president of Natopia, <laughs> of naturally. Nintendo! <laughs> My dad works at Nintendo. <laughs> My dad works at Natopia. <laughs> no way! Cool! So what's upstairs? Turns out this whole building is one gigantic server. Servers were growing all over the second floor. That's as far up as we were able to go. Servers... growing? Uh, aren't servers machines? She's right. These were growing, weren't they? Anyways, we need to get rid of that net radiation. Then we'll be able to get up to the top floor. Lan, we've done everything that we can, so... Dex, what's wrong? <laughs> Dex jacked in more than the rest of us to the radiation. He said he had to do it, or he couldn't show his face. Ugh. Dex and Mail and Yai, thank you. Now get somewhere safe. Leave the rest of this to me. Thanks, Lan. Protagonist frames definitely absorb radiation better than side characters. Mega Man, let's rock! What? <laughs> let's rock! Well, in Japan, his name is Rockman. So I get it, I like get Rock it. Man, That's cute. Rock. All right, now that you've explained it. Rockman, let's, you know, you, man. <laughs> that would be worse if, they, if it had said Mega Man, let's rock, comma, man. <laughs> let's rock. Man. Let's rock, man! <laughs> right. We're Dex, Mail, and Yai. Let's find a way to the top. And if we can't find a way, we'll just have to make one. You know, with my real world... Oh. <laughs> We're off to a great start. It's locked. <laughs> have to use the panel. F and lock. <laughs> oh, I hope it's not going to be flashing the whole time. It gives me a bellyache. Oof. You betcha! You betcha. All right. Blue room. Are you ready? For the inevitable boss rush? For a new twist on an old theme. Tell me. Actually, it's an old twist, but it's new to me. Okay. So. Oh, okay, hold on. Now this is important. This is this is vital information. What? No. Whenever I was when it, whenever we were outside, and I was like, "Is that digital information leaking into the real world?" And here we yep. are. Yes, it is. Yes, sir. Okay. Wow. Wow, Dad would love to hear about this. I better not die too quickly. Or I should maybe I should text him. <laughs> <laughs> For now, let's fix the net and get to that top floor. Roger. Okay, sorry. A new twist on an old formula. Um, there it is, right there. <laughs> There's your new twist. <laughs> no. Um, if you had a choice of one single superpower and you had to choose between flight and invisibility. Invisibility. 
It was fast. Well, the reason is because... No, I'm sorry. Uh, flight. Wait, hold on. Can I turn it off, or is it always on? You you can use it at will, mm -hmm. uh, and it is not expent, but you don't get anything else to go with it. You can just fly. Well, then I would... Uh... Or just be invisible. You still make noise. Right. I would probably have to pick flight then, because mm -hmm. even a like low-level hover ability yeah. would be more useful, I think, than invisibility, because I thought about it, and I realized that uh, invisibility has a, a small issue where um, if something... Assuming that like light is being bent around you, you can't see because you need the light to bounce off of your eyeballs. No, this is a special invisibility that it just makes you invisible to sighted people. That doesn't, oh, so it's more like, like a mental, it's a trick. Yeah, it's, it's a, a trick. Okay, then the invisibility, because the flight, you said that you only have one power, so if it is like a mind influencing, Invisibility, where people just like look past me, like they just can't see you for some reason. Uh, then I, I would pick the um, the invisibility, just because you need a whole like set of powers to make flight. Like really practical. Right. Yeah, I agree. I have a different reason, but I pick the same one. And I, I have to thank John Hodgman for putting these new restrictors restrictions on my old favorite question. Mm -hmm. So that anybody who's like, oh, they're ripping off John Hodgman, I'm like, yes. Yes, I am. I am thankful. He's nice. I like him. <laughs> I would pick invisibility, too. But mostly because I feel like I could get out of... Oh, they don't actually... They don't do anything? What? That's such cheap shit. <laughs> I don't like this game anymore. There should at least be like a mammal sitting there, you know? Like that. That should be in there. Or like a big worse battle. A, a one that just says worse on the screen. It might just have the same combination of enemies, but like there's like this big banner that pops up that says worse. <laughs> or like you have to fight copies of your friends. It'd be weird. Worse. Or their navvies. With like, with like your friends' heads on them. Ew! No. Like, look, this is a weird splicing situation with like radiation and worlds colliding. They could ham it up a little bit more. But no, the freaking warpy floor doesn't do shit. That I'm disappointed. I was all excited. Ooh, a new tile set. Ooh, new problems. No. No, not really. Oops! Did what? I what? Break it? Oh no. Uh, this must be... The place... This place. This place connects to the one before, doesn't it? Is the radiation and abnor abnormality stopped? I don't know. But we'll know when we stop getting blown away. What? Oh, but I wasn't done exploring that area. Huh. Well... Well, okay. That's fine. Maybe I'll get to go back there later. Or maybe not. Maybe I don't give a darn. I'm so upset about this lack of of swirly consequences. It's just swirly. <laughs> I mean, for Pete's sake. Okay. Anyway, I would like to be invisible because I think that it would get me out of trouble in many situations. Mm. I think that it would allow me to do... Really, I think that it would allow me to do great good or evil without having to worry about many of the consequences. You know, whatever yeah. I felt like that day, which generally is probably good. You know, I think that <clears throat> invisibility is a power that I would struggle to have. Yeah. Because I think it wouldn't take me very long to rationalize. And just because it's such a passive power, Yeah. for the most part, it's so observational, right? Yeah. I can't say, honestly, that I wouldn't 
rapidly slip into just being a bad guy, just rationalizing it as I'm gaining something and no one is being hurt by it. Yeah. You'd be able to rationalize all kinds of shenanigans after a little while. Right. Well, people become accustomed to privilege very quickly, so I can't say that I wouldn't, you know, but I would probably be, like, even-handedly good and bad. Yeah. Like, I would probably go, like, running, running around, like, rescuing hobos and, like, punching assholes in the dick and and just not being seen and just just remaining slippery. I, you know, I'd get really into fitness if I was invisible. Because, you know, that's the only power you get, right? Right. I would get, like, really, really into fitness, <clears throat> be, like, really agile. I'd be like, I'm going to make the most of this. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to become personally quick to make the most of this invisibility. I mean, just, but I'd probably never pay for groceries ever again. Like, I'd probably just go get a sandwich and then probably get a couple more sandwiches and pass them out. You know, like I, to people who looked like they needed sandwiches that day. I've changed my mind. I'd be chaos. <laughs> I've, I've changed my mind. Yeah. I want to go back to another power instead. Oh, yeah? Um, yeah. I have just remembered that invisibility is the type of power that... I would have um, would have wanted earlier in my life. Um, no shame here. Just gonna gonna say it like it is. I would have cheated on every school exam <laughs> if I had invisibility. Yeah. Yeah. I would find ways to cheat on every exam using invisibility. Like I I don't know I'd I'd find ways. It to happen. I don't care if I wind up having to like sneak into a teacher's office and then like I fold the test up and shove it in my craw, yeah. so it turns invisible. In invisible. And then you just walk out with it. Just mm -hmm. whatever. Now I think that the main practical use of um, <clears throat> the main practical use I can think of either of those powers would be flight, and it would because it would be because I would um generally be like immune to fall damage yeah that would be nice so it could like if i was conscious i could save my life with um with the power of flight that would be nice i just think that i could do more interesting shit just more stuff with invisibility than just being able to fly like flying would be beautiful and fun and cool but i could like so sneak onto an air balloon ride for free with no problem you know mm-hmm so, I mean, yeah, I think I think that invisibility is just too many power or too many products of that power. It's like stealing stuff and peeping on people for any number of purposes. I you know? I don't know. I look at it in a roguish way. Oh, well, stealing stuff and peeping on people. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Okay. But I but rogues can also not get killed when protecting other people because they are unseen. You know, I look at it as a defense stat. If they can't see you, they can't hit you. You know what I mean? I mean, that's the same thing. That's one of the same reasons that you were just considering flight, because you could avoid fall damage. But I could avoid getting hit by anyone but the best guessers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so. Little kunai man, how do you, how do I trigger your functions, kunai man? Little, little ninja friend. Oh, 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 oh. He's really cute. Yeah. See, he would do well invisible. <laughs> he would do well invisible. Do I just shoot the rock? What's a rock? Pew, pew, pew. I will never forget punching rocks with you. Oh, in Resident Evil. I wasn't gonna spoil it. Well, I guess nobody knows which Resident Evil. Oh uh, no, it's that's famous. Okay. That's super famous. It is a famously dumb scene. But so is the thing with the Hellmouth and the angel. You have to feed it, but you were worried about that. So I was trying to be. Oh, well, that's nice. probably that's probably gonna get a spoiler warning. Yeah. Yeah. Hold on, I'm not paying enough attention right now, and this is starting to get a touch, a touch of the complication. 
Yeah. Let's handle this some other time. Maybe when it's cooler. Yeah. Stupid swirly things that don't do anything. So disappointed in you. Dad. Gospel. Not Gospel even, dad. Not even good at traps.